couple of weeks ago, I was asked by somebody, how do you do the return to home on the Litchi app? Just a reminder, top corner, same subject, more videos you can watch, gives you an idea what I do, and also down below, under my video, there's all the information about this video, what I'm using, what cameras I'm using, music and so on. Check it out. Just a reminder, and I haven't used the Litch app for a long time, but I'm going to show you three ways on how to use the return to home on the Litchi app and the drone itself. Right, what I've done, I've set up the drone already. It's already on. So I've gone into my Litchi app. Now just to check that you're, you've got a safe height, if you go to the right hand top corner, you see the three cogs, if you click on that, then go over to aircraft, it will say your go home altitude. Now I've got it set at 30 meters, I think that's plenty enough. Depending on where you are, if you're in a high tree line or you're near buildings, which you shouldn't be, maybe you could, you could set it a little bit higher, but I think 30 meters is enough. Maximum altitude has been set correctly. So. Okay, in this one, this is the first one. I'm going to show you how to use the actual Litchi app to return it home. Now, I'm going to go out a short distance, and I think this is a good idea for you guys to do that first, especially if you've never done it before. So, you got, you, if anything does go wrong, you can just take over control. So, <clears throat> let's get up in the air. I always do an auto takeoff. Right, because I'm so close, when I do the return to home, it's virtually going to land <clears throat> just in front of me. And I've got a bit of a dry throat now. <clears throat> I'm not taking it out very far. And when I do the return to home, it's virtually going to land in front of me. Obviously, you'd only use return to home if it's out of sight or you've lost signal. But at the moment, just for demonstration purposes and also for first timers and that because I think you've got to try it out guys anyway if you look on the screen you see a, on the left hand side you will see a green button that's got a H on it why it hasn't got returned to home I don't know but if you just click that it will say go home and you say OK right and what it is is it's going to land and you hear this noise Right, now at the top bar you'll see landing, tap to cancel, so you just tap that, it'll come up, you say OK. OK, on the second one, I'm going to show you how to use the controller. Now on, the, on your, when we're talking about obviously the Phantom Free Standard, on your controller you've got the S2 switch, which is your left switch. If you flick that down three times, I'm just going to send a drone just a bit out further, because it's a bit, it's a bit close to me. Turn it around as well. So I've still got an eye on the drone. I haven't gone out very far. I've gone out 200 me 20 meters. No, <laughs> 38 meters, which is a good idea, for, especially if we're doing it for the first time. Anyway, what you do this time, you flick the switch three times. Hear that noise? It will say on the top, going home. Tap to cancel. Right, so he's done that. Right, now I'm going to show you the third one, and this is probably the most drastic, and it's probably the one you're not really want to use, but it's also a good safety advice, mainly because <clears throat> there will be a chance that when you're flying, your tablet or your phone might just run out of power. It could overheat, especially out here in Spain. The tablets and the phones do overheat quite, quite a bit and they tend to shut down. So what you do then, you just turn off the controller. Now I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have faith in this. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn off the controller. Right, I've turned the controller off just to prove that I've done it. disconnected, but it's coming back. 
I'm not, just to prove that I've got, it's not on, it's come back. It hasn't said it's returning to home, it's just saying it's disconnected, but it's coming back to me. So that's the three ways on how to do the return to home on the Litchi, on the Fat and Free Standard. The third one's probably a bit drastic, but there's always a chance that could happen. And the, the last thing I always say to guys is don't panic. Have your faith in the drone. It's a bit like a PC. Sometimes it takes a while to load up. It's a fantastic app. I haven't used this app for three or four months. And uh, I've just reloaded it again. And it's working fine. The drone's just come back to land. So I hope that's made you feel a little bit happier. Go out there, give it a practice. It's a fantastic way of videoing, that's what I've said before. I find when I go out most times, I'm always using the return to home because I can control the gimbal when it's coming in, especially when it's flying over something. So as always guys, keep watching, there's plenty more videos coming. Fly safe, that's the main thing. <laughs> Don't panic, fly safe, take things easy. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one.